we've seen how to zoom in and out on our image, but what about navigating around inside the image? Here I've left my zoom at 100%, which is exactly where I left off at the end of the previous exercise, but of course I'm seeing the bottom half of my barn. What if I want to see the roof, and what if I want to see the background, and so on? Well, I suppose what I could do is I could make use of the scroll bars, you know, something like this, right? But I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty slow going in terms of, you know, productivity inside Photoshop. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the good old hand tool found just above the zoom tool, the magnifying glass tool inside the toolbox. So go ahead and grab this fella. And what we can do with this guy is we can literally grab our image and drag around, pan around inside this image. For instance, now that we're zoomed in on this image and I can navigate around a little bit, I can go, whoa, there's another farm way back in there. I didn't even notice that before, you know, or kind of pan around. Hey, there's another farm over there. Didn't notice that either, right? Kind of pan around inside this image. Maybe I'm doing some color correcting or I'm doing some image adjusting, you know, this kind of thing. And I want to make sure that everything's looking nice and hunky-dory. So I want to be able to navigate around inside this image. But it's still kind of slow, isn't it? I mean, we've got to, you know, kind of manually drag around. We have to manually grab the, the tool as well. So, of course, I have a faster technique for you. So here's what I'm going to have you do. I'd like you to flip back to your neutral tool, your move tool. I just tapped the V key on my keyboard. And just like we have a temporary toggle to access the zoom tool, we also have a temporary toggle to access the hand tool. Now to pull this off, all I'm going to do, it's really simple, is I'm simply going to hold down the space bar on my keyboard. Now I'm holding down the space bar with one hand, I have my other hand on my mouse, and now I'm going to click and drag around inside my image, something like this. When I let go of the space bar with my thumb, I'm back onto my neutral tool, my move tool. So again, that's just a simple toggle to allow us to temporarily access the the hand tool. Now what's really cool here is when we start combining some of these techniques that I've been showing you, the zooming and the navigation techniques. For instance, I'm going to hold down control spacebar or command spacebar and click and drag to the top left. Now that's zooming me in. I'm going to click and drag in the opposite direction here. There we go to zoom back out. There we are, something like that. And then I'll hold down the space bar and I'll pan around a little bit. And then maybe I'll zoom back in again using my keyboard toggles and then space bar again to toggle around. Now, this is kind of a simple example that I'm showing you here. And if this is brand new for you, it's going to feel kind of awkward and kind of weird and, and maybe a little bit slow. But the more you use it, the faster you get at it. And all of a sudden, you're flying through your Photoshop work. You're flying through your images because it's all really easy stuff.